What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs and welcome on board the Wonder of the Seas. Chris Wong is cruising as a passenger on a three day cruise to Coco Cay and this is my Wonder of the Seas cruise ship tour. So what I'm going to do over the course of this month is I'm gonna film one generic tour video of the entire ship and then I'm gonna film individual um, tour videos of each neighborhood and go into detail as to what venues are available. Uh, for this tour, I'm going to start off right on the top. So I'm on the pool deck right now, this is deck 15, and I'm gonna make my way down to show you, to show you the whole ship. Um, this is unusual. Normally, I would start my tour in the, uh, on the Royal Promenade, but today I figured let's switch it up, up a little bit. I'm gonna start off at the top of the ship and work my way down. So right now, I am on the pool deck area, deck 15 or is it 16? It's either 15 or 16, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, here we are in the main section of the pool right now, so you can see one main pool over here. You've got the kids' pool on that side. Okay, so this is already a little different to other Oasis class ships. Uh, hot tubs, you've got slides over here. It is a glorious day in Port Canaveral today very very hot in Florida at this time of year the traffic to get into Port Canaveral though I'll say that is not cool all right so I am trying to speak as loud as possible because there is music blasting it's like a party right now so that is half of the pool deck area this is the second half which basically it's basically the pool just split in two so you should be able to even on a sea day find enough spaces to to relax by the pool so it's on that side as well you can watch movies here on the big screen the lime and coconut bar is now a royal caribbean classic you can find this on i would say most ships in the fleet now it's a nice place just to get a drink whilst you are relaxing by the pool and right next to the lime and coconut we of course have free ice cream and this is where you would get it right here so they tend to have uh, three flavors here vanilla chocolate and then a combination of both so make sure you take advantage of your free ice cream if you come up to the sun deck area which is directly above all of the pool they've got this cool orange slide here which i'm going to try and film uh, somebody going around it's actually it actually looks like a lot of fun so someone's going to come down now whoa <laughs> That's hilarious. How awesome is that? So the Caribbean band is playing right here. You've got this cool seating area to enjoy the music. Yeah, this is all this is all cool. And look at this, you just enjoy life listening to the music. You can go for a swim if you fancy it. And the playing the perfect day song. El Loco Fresh, the Mexican place on board. Hey, what's going on, man? So here we have your complimentary choice of Mexican foods. I, I said this in one of my older videos. This reminds me a bit of Chipotle. So you've got your quesadillas, your nachos, uh, burritos, I believe you can make here. What else? Lots of salsa, lots of rice. Yeah, very American style Mexican food included in the price you got your desserts over here too here's a whole bunch of seating areas here's where you're gonna get your sauces everything you can choose from what have we got guacamole onion sour cream jalapenos and here is where you are going to find a whole bunch of sports outdoor activities outdoor sports activities this is this the mini golf yes this is the mini golf unlike any other mini golf I've seen on any real ship before it's very blue it's got a very sea under the sea kind of theme the zip line is going across I'm not sure if you can see that on my camera but here is where the zip line is and you'll get a view of uh, the boardwalk below me which I will make my way down a little later oh I can see the ultimate abyss 
have not had the chance to do this myself yet, but it looks the same on <laughs> every Royal Caribbean ship. This is like a almost kind of like a mascot now. People people are in two minds if they like the animal that they have here for the slide. So it starts off here on deck uh, 15 or 16 and will make its way down to the boardwalk on deck 5. Yes. Oh my goodness. I need to brush up on my Royal Caribbean knowledge. Here's a view of Port Canaveral today. Like I said, it's a very, very beautiful day. 27 degrees centigrade in December. Madness. On this side, we have the Flow Rider. People already taking advantage. Let's see if anyone is riding some sick waves. Good job, kid. And here's a viewing area. Very, very nice. I've still not done this either. Who here wants to see Chris Wong and a flow rider? Comment below. And there, there he goes. Awesome. And right next to the zip line, we have the basketball court. How do I get inside? This is the Royal Caribbean Sport Court, home for basketball and a whole bunch of other cool activities. The door was on this side. It's um, yeah, it's very confusing. Wait. Okay, so I've just left the sport court, which is literally out here. I've made my way into the teens club. Now, I've never actually been inside the teen club on any other ship before, but this looks fantastic. So this is for aged between 13 and 17 year olds. You've got game stations over here. I haven't had a look what's inside. Bean bags. Um, oh, it was very colourful, I will say. Not really sure. This is not my expertise, okay? I really don't know what the ship has to offer for teens and the type of activities that they do, obviously because I work in the casino, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on Wonder of the Seas because visually it looks fantastic. But my favourite area of the pool deck is always the solarium. Obviously the disadvantage to this is you don't get any sun, but if you just want to relax and enjoy the, the ambiance of the solarium, which is very tranquil. You've got the Solarium Bistro, which is a food outlet. Let's take a look inside the Solarium Bistro, just to give you guys an idea. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, air conditioning feels absolutely amazing right now. So here is the Chris Wong tip. If Windjammer is ridiculously busy, make your way to the Solarium Bistro because all of this is a buffet style included food as well. You don't have to pay any extra for this. So if you want a Chris Wong tip on embarkation day and you want to eat in peace, come to the Solarium Bistro because Windjammer can get a little overwhelming at times. All right, so make your way back towards the back of the ship. Still on deck 15 and you will find Windjammer, which it does look quite busy. So let me wash my hands first. But already this is the fanciest Windjammer I've seen. Like, this is the area to wash your hands. Okay, washy washy. On the entrance, before you get to the food, they've got this cool display of cupcakes. And over here, we have an ice sculpture of the Royal Caribbean logo. Hey, this is the first time I've seen an ice sculpture on the ship. Very cool. But do keep in mind, this is embarkation day. All right, so the Windjammer uh, for lunch, on the first day of the cruise, it's always the busiest. So it's not always going to be like this. But I will film in here on another day of the week just to give you guys a more realistic, because as you can see, look, there's a sea of people. I can't even get in. Right next to Windjammer, they actually have the Mason Jar, which is a brand new restaurant to Royal Caribbean. So this is the only one in the fleet right now. This is exclusive to Wonder of the Seas, currently at the time I'm recording this video. So let's take a look inside the, uh, the restaurant. So I'm trying to find the words to describe the type of food that they sell in this restaurant. It's described as um, Southern American style, so a lot of 
fried chicken and uh, biscuits and what else? Like, I think you guys will be able to describe it a lot better than me. A lot of country style American food. It's actually uh, kind of cool and this restaurant looks really nice. I would actually very much like to eat here. Oh, there's a team meeting happening there. I don't want to disturb the waiters. But yeah, nice restaurant. If you can get a reservation for Mason Jar, let me know how it is. The menu's outside, I'm gonna have a look. And directly on the opposite side of the ship, you have another restaurant called Hocked, which you can see is, mace, uh, blah, is based off seafood. So let's have a little look. So both of these restaurants, Mason Jar and Hocked, you do have to pay a little extra. So I don't know what the prices are from the top of my head, but the speciality restaurants do have a standard charge if you do, you know, if you do fancy something other than the, um, other than the buffet or any of the complimentary dinners. If I go over the edge, that is the Solarian Bistro uh, down here. Oh wait, oh, oh, or is this part of Hocked as well? Ah, do you know what? I think I may have made the mistake, unless I am correct. I don't know if down there is the Solarian Bistro or if this is actually part of Hooked because I was down here before and I said it was the Solarian Bistro. You know what, this ship is so new, even I don't know everything. So that about does it for the entire pool deck area of the ship. And now I'm gonna make my way down to Central Park, which should be on deck seven. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Central Park. Now this is deck eight. I apologize, I said seven earlier. Welcome to the probably one of the most highly anticipated features on all Oasis class ships. But what you guys may not realize is, for those of you who have never been on a Oasis class ship before, it's not just, you know, flowers and trees here. There are actually restaurants and food venues here, which I'm gonna just briefly walk past and show you right now. So you can see on this side, you've got Regalia and Effie. This is fine jewelry shops. So for any of you ladies out there that would like to take home some nice jewelry at the end of the cruise, do visit these shops here. Over on this side, you've got Giovanni's Italian restaurant. I was hoping they would actually have a menu for me to look at, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll just quickly walk inside and uh, just have a little look in the restaurant. So this is how the restaurant looks. Oh, nice little Christmas tree over here. Let's carry on going. So now we have two of my favorite restaurants on board our ships. This is Chops Grill. You can eat outside even if it's raining because of this glass feature. Steakhouse on board. Get your filet mignons, your ribeyes. And yes, here we are, Chops Grill. They keep it consistent on every ship, so it kind of has the same ambiance on every ship you go on in the fleet. Lots of dark, very black and gold colors. Very, very romantic as well. If you want to have a nice, I don't know, maybe anniversary dinner. Maybe if you're a young couple looking for a fancy meal, Chops is definitely up there as a place to go. And on the other side of Chops Grill, you have by far still my favorite food experiences I've ever had on a Royal Caribbean ship. 150 Central Park. The food, this I would say is more of a high-end restaurant, okay? So make sure you book your reservations in advance. But the food here is actually unreal. Let's take a look inside. Hello. This is the first time I've actually seen a restaurant all lit up because normally when you're eating here, it's, um, it's very dark and it's actually very difficult for me to film, which is why I've never actually made a food vlog in this restaurant with it being my favorite but yeah you can already tell with the uh the decor but they even have a louis the 13th cognac on display that's how you know it's fancy all right so that about does it for deck number eight and what i'm going to do now is head down to deck six to check out the boardwalk welcome to deck six and let's head towards the back of the ship because the boardwalk is located here. My God, it's so busy. Like me trying to film on this ship 
has probably been, this has probably been the most challenging tour video I've had to film yet. Well, <laughs> I say that considering my last two tour videos, I was on an empty ship. Oh, I, I walked past these horses. Okay, so there's a story behind these horses that you probably have never noticed before. This is how it starts off. And then you can see it gradually get built as you walk along. So they've started painting it now. When you get to the final product, you end up at the carousel. And that is the story of the horses. I'm really sorry, but it is so busy in Playmakers right now. I can't get inside and film. But this is the main entrance here, so the bar's here. You've got all tables inside and out. All the food, drinks, enjoy the game as you um, enjoy the ambiance of the sports bar. I'm now looking at the Ultimate Abyss slide. We're gonna make our way right to the back of the ship now because we have once again an Oasis class cruise feature that everybody's excited to see. Unfortunately, the water's not there now, but this is the Aqua Theatre. Now at night, all of this uh, lowers down and there's water and they perform aqua shows. So there's a lot of diving, dancing, music. It's actually just unbelievable. And during the day, this is actually a cool spot just to hang out. So here's where you would sit and enjoy the show. You've got balcony rooms here, okay? So you can have uh, a suite of some sort whilst overlooking the aqua theater and the boardwalk. You've got the climbing wall over here, which three people are climbing as we speak. Directly opposite Playmakers, you've also got Johnny Rockets, which is a 50s, 60s, 70s style diner. It always reminds me of Back to the Future, it reminds me of Greece, but you get your American classic milkshakes and burgers here. You cannot find this on a Quantum Class Royal Caribbean ship. I have no idea why they don't do this on Quantum Class, but Johnny Rockets, I very much enjoy. A smokehouse is always my go-to choice and is always every crew member's choice of burger. And the final thing I want to show you on the boardwalk is Sugar Beach, which is the candy store. Well, unfortunately, it's not open right now, but you can see inside it's very colorful. Lots of, lots of artificial coloring happening right now, but the kids love what the kids love. I'm not actually sure what they sell in here. I can't really remember going in here when I was last on an Oasis class ship, but there's ice creams, uh, candy, obviously. They do sell toys and merch as well. So I will check this out during the cruise once it, uh, when it actually opens. Okay, so boardwalk complete. And I've now made my way back inside and I'm gonna make my way down now to deck five to check out the Royal Promenade, the heart of every Royal Caribbean ship. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wonder of the Seas Royal Promenade. Again, very, very busy. I'm going to do my best to really try and show, you know, a nice tour of, of the whole promenade. So let's start off here, Boleros. Incredible. Uh, this is where you're going to find like Latin dancing and a couple of cool evening entertainments. Get some nice cocktails, some drinks. Starbucks right on the outside. For those of you who cannot survive a day without Starbucks, you're going to come right here and satisfy your coffee needs. On my right, you've got Spotlight Karaoke. Almost on a nightly basis. I don't know if karaoke is every night, but almost on a nightly basis, I would say. Spotlight Karaoke is a great nighttime entertainment for, well, for all the family, not just young people. Uh, let's walk through now. You've got Solera Beauty, which is the perfume store. You guys know once upon a time, Chris Wong was a shoppy and it's, um, yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> I can kind of still remember all of the products that I used to sell on a daily basis. Get your perfumes and uh, what else for men? Colognes for all of your fragrance needs. Let's head over to the other side now. Walk in between the islands. Honestly, the vibe of the promenade is... The energy is live. It's so good. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, the shop your Royal Caribbean logo shop. If you would like your Royal Caribbean teddy bears, Royal Caribbean hoodies, t-shirts, 
this is where you would come. Make sure to check out the sales every day. There is always something going on, whether that's inside the shop or on the island out here. Okay, so the, the island in the middle of the promenade is the same as the shops inside. It's all run by the shops on board. People seem to think it's different. I don't know why. Sorrento's Pizzeria. All right, let's check it out. I will most definitely be enjoying a slice of pizza or two from my cruise over the course of the next few days. But as you can see, look how busy it is. Oh my God. Everybody loves that Royal Caribbean pizza. This island here is where you would pick up your drinks package beverage cups. So if you pre-book your drinks package before you come on the cruise, come to the promenade and look for the island to pick up your drinks package cup. And you can see here, they have everybody's order and they are giving out the cups on embarkation day. Port Merchants, this is the store where you would buy your alcohol, liquor and tobacco. And this is what I'm saying. Port Merchants is the same as the cigarette and liquor on the island. For some reason, people think it's different. It's the same, I'm telling you. Okay, let's carry on walking. Again, I'm trying to speak as loud as possible, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm shouting. Nice Christmas display here of gingerbread. Train tracks, very festive display made by the incredible food and beverage team. The attention to detail is unbelievable. And you can smell the gingerbread as well. Awesome. And of course, the giant Christmas tree that is positioned every single year on every single Royal Caribbean ship in December. Fantastic for picture opportunities. Okay, how am I gonna get through this crowd? Next cruise, book your next cruise whilst you are on your current cruise and take advantage of the uh, discounts that you do if you do it by booking on board and not waiting till you go home to your, your travel agent. Here we have our classic car, which can be found on, I think, every Royal ship, except for Quantum Class. There was no classic car on the Quantum Class ships, at least the ones that I've worked on. This is Rising Tide Bar. So this is what I was telling you about before. This bar rises all the way to the top, where Central Park is. On my left, Regalia Fine Jewelry. More shops on board. And then to my right, you have guest services for any of your queries, questions, needs that you may have during your vacation. The Bionic Bar, let's see if it's switched on. Oh, it's not switched on right now, that's a shame. But I'm gonna walk in and show you what the Bionic Bar looks like anyway. The future of bartending right here. No humans needed. Place your order on the tablets on the table and then these robot arms will make the drinks and cocktails and then give it to you and you'll be charged to your account. Let's make my way up to deck six because there's more. The promenade doesn't end just on deck five. This is definitely the hardest tour video I've ever had to film, but Chris Wong will survive. Okay, shore excursions. You can book your shore excursions when you're at home before your cruise or you can wait till you come on board and have the guys explain to you exactly what tours are what. Loyalty desk. Oh, the, the loyalty ambassador's here. That's interesting. Normally it's right next to guest services. Okay, that's changed. And the famous, oh my God. I still don't know. Shkushkuna bar or shuna bar. You guys tell me in the comments all sorts of different things. So I don't even know what to believe. But OG Royal Caribbean passengers and people who have been cruising for a long time absolutely love this venue very nautical themed nice atmosphere whilst you enjoy the ambiance of the promenade so directly opposite on the other side of the boardwalk you can't see it in my camera but the boardwalk is here at the back of the ship if you come to the front of the ship same deck this is deck number six you have the vitality spa and fitness center so let's have a little walk in and let's see what health and well-being looks like on the ship but before we get there you've got on my right vitality cafe get a smoothie or a coffee before or after your workout or spa treatment hair salon i have had many many haircuts here 
with my crew discount, of course, on previous ships. You can get a better view of what it looks like inside here. Very, very swish. The gym, I believe, is going to be on my left. And then the spa, other treatments and rooms are going to be on my right. Oh, yes. Okay. There is definitely not a shortage of cardio bikes. <laughs> What's Royal trying to say? Are they saying there's a lot of overweight people on the ships? I don't know. But anyway, here is all of the machine area. Pretty much has everything you could ever want from a gym. Like I said, these gyms on board the cruise ships are just as good as um, as a gym back on land. This is like a gym kind of fitness leisure club almost. I've now made my way down to deck four. Now do not quote me on this because I sometimes forget but this area I believe is called entertainment place. So there is a lot of well entertainment on board. Uh, not on board, on this level. So what I'm going to do is head into the theatre first and give you guys a look at what I believe is the largest theatre in our fleet so far. So let's just make my way in. I've already done my um, check-in. This was B1. So now I'm just going to walk inside and let's have a look at where you guys will be watching your Broadway and theatrical shows. It's, yeah, it reminds me very much of how it was on Oasis. All right, so making my way back out, we're gonna walk over this way and let's have a little look inside Studio B. Oh, what do I have here on my left? Oh, Diamond Lounge. For all of our Diamond members and above, you can have access to your own personal space on the ship. Let's go into Studio B. Hi guys, how are you? What's, what's good? So for those of you who don't know, Studio B is the ice rink on board the ship and also by far the coldest venue on board. So here's where you are going to watch your ice shows as well as sometimes game shows. At this point, I'm not sure if they've brought back the... Um, uh, oh, I forgot what it is now, the game show that they had here. But um, you can also ice skate on here as well as watch a show and I do believe it's included I don't think you have to pay extra for ice skating so here is the Royal Caribbean ice rink on board I can't remember how many people you can fit inside it's definitely not as big as the theater all right so let's leave Studio B and make my way over to <laughs> oh, Casino Royale it's like I've never left but before we get to the casino, we have to walk through the Park West Art Gallery. And here is where you can admire works of art from contemporary and master's artwork from one of a kind unique limited edition graphic works, the whole shebang. You can attend an art auction on your next cruise and you can actually purchase works of art for your home. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I still remember quite a lot actually, like Romero Britos, what do we have over here? Yeah, a whole bunch of artists I can't remember now, but yeah, you guys know that once upon a time I was working in the art gallery, but here is where, where I am now. So if I was working on board this ship, this is the casino and oh my goodness, it is huge um, but from what I can tell the layout is the same as all of the other Oasis class ships so first of all hey here is I believe one of the casino host desks let's have a little walk around as well it's funny because like even though <laughs> even though I'm a guest right now when I walk through a Royal Caribbean ship now especially the casino I just feel like I'm at work so I'm just admiring all the tables and the games. Uh, the the colour scheme is different to anything I've seen on all of the ships I've been on in the past. It's a lot more grey, kind of neutral colours. Uh, there is 
quite a lot of slot machines. Actually, there is a, a this is probably the most slot machines I've seen in one casino at one time. And it doesn't look like there's actually too many table games. This is this is not what I expected. Ah, I found it. But this is unusual. Like this layout of the casino host desk, it looks like it's part of the cashier. Like the cage comes down and the computers are back here. Yeah, very um very different look to how my office is normally on every other ship. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this huge pillar here though. But what I do like about Wonder of the Seas is that there is still on the same level, on the same deck, a high roller room for our casino players. So I am not actually sure what the requirement is in order to gain access to the high roller room. Oh look, another casino host desk. <laughs> um, but it's a private room with tables, slot machines, I'm assuming it's for Masters players and above, maybe Signature players can come in here too. But it's a nice idea having a high roller room. And again, when I make my way into the back, there's a section that looks like a buffet for food whilst you, whilst you play, which is always interesting because, you know, on every other ship I've worked on, we always tell people you can't bring food into the casino. All right, that's enough of the casino. Chris, you're on vacation here. Get out of work. I do like these automatic doors though. It's a very, very nice touch. And let's head now to the main dining room. So we are at the back of the ship now. Wait, did I just say that right? Uh, lost my bearings already. It's been a while since I've been on Oasis class ship, but I can already see the, um, the festive lights. Yeah, cruising at this time of year, Visually, it looks fantastic. Okay, okay, so very nice red and gold sort of theme they've got going on in the dining room. Wow. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting music to interrupt my vlog. Okay, it's gone now. Once again, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, welcome to your vacation. Cruise director Mike interrupting my vlog. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. This ship is so big, for me to film this whole tour video has taken me so many hours. I think I did over, well over 10,000 steps today just walking around the ship filming, filming everything. I'm back in my cabin now, this is a interior stateroom. This is actually the cheapest cabin available on board Wander of the Seas. Um, like I said, I funded this trip myself if you didn't see my previous video, so I paid for well, I just did everything as cheap as possible. So this is an interior stateroom, no balcony. A lot of you are probably thinking, oh my God, I need to have a balcony in my stateroom. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't survive, but you guys know that I'm used to a crew cabin. So for me to stay in a cabin that looks like this, I actually just feel like I'm winning the lottery right now. My overall thought about Wonder of the Seas, first of all, it is completely different to any other Oasis class ship that I have been on. It's, um, the layout is very similar, but you can pick out small differences that's, that make it different in a way that I'm not sure if it's a good thing. A lot of the venues and the way it's set up, I know originally this ship was uh, aimed for the China market and due to, you know, unfortunate circumstances, I can't really remember what they are now, this ship ended up staying here in the US. So I think a lot of the way the ship is designed, certain parts of it was catered for the Asian market, but things seem just that there are some areas that feel like it's a little bit cramped. It's like, it's like they just threw all of the venues and ideas that they have on the other Oasis class ships and thought, let's, you know, put it in the space now because, you know, this ship's not going to China anymore. We need it for the US market and, and Europe. Um, but overall, the ship is fantastic. It has every, it has everything all of the other Oasis class ships has. When you say this is the biggest ship in the world, I actually feel like because some of the areas of the ship, like the pool, for example, and deck four, the entertainment place, it felt a bit more cramped. It didn't feel like I was on the biggest ship in the world. I actually felt like when I was working on Oasis of the Seas, there was just more space to walk around. 
Or, I don't know, maybe it's just because I haven't seen a full capacity ship of this size yet since the restart. Maybe I just forgot over time what it's like, but this ship is crowded. Like, there is people everywhere. It's almost gave me, like, a theme park sort of vibe, where I was even struggling to, like, you know, walk through venues. And filming this tour video was actually quite difficult at times because there was just so many people in the way or they were speaking so loud you couldn't even hear me speak. So a different vibe Wonder of the Seas has compared to other Oasis class ships that I've been on in the past. I don't know maybe it's because it's a new ship so the excitement is here, people are just constantly you know walking around. Maybe I just got used to Ovation of the Seas that when I was uh, sailing in and out of Seattle uh, for Alaska season, the ship is generally a bit quieter. So yeah, I kind of mixed feelings about Wonder of the Seas. I wasn't completely blown away. I, I was expecting to be... I thought this was going to be the best Royal Caribbean ship in the fleet, but for me, it's not. I actually think Oasis of the Seas is a much more pleasant ship to be on. Not that this is bad by any way, but I just felt like overall it was a bit more crowded people are just everywhere there wasn't really a sense of relaxation if, if any of you do have a cruise booked on wonder of the seas for sure you will have a fantastic time it is embarkation day when i filmed this tour so that's why the ship generally is a lot busier over the course of a seven day cruise so remember this is a three day cruise over the course of a seven day cruise things will be mellowed out, it's going to be less busy at times, you'll be able to walk through the ship, enjoy yourself, have the best vacation ever. A three-day cruise, I think there's such a shorter amount of time, people just want to do everything, so people are just, oh, let's go here, let's go there, we have to take pictures of this. Um, but, yeah, like I said, this is my Chris Wong honest review of the ship. Royal haven't asked me to do this review, I paid for this out of my own pocket, and... That concludes my tour of Wonder of the Seas. I really hope you enjoyed. This is, um, it feels kind of strange being a passenger, I'm not gonna lie. But to be honest, at the same time, it doesn't feel any different. When I'm walking around the ship by myself, I just feel like I'm a crew member. I feel like I'm just working and so many people recognize me. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, kind of a surreal feeling. I don't really know how to describe right now, but yeah, I don't think I could ever do a solo cruise by myself on a Royal Caribbean ship, like a, a full length seven day one. I would have to be with someone like my family or a partner to really enjoy the full experience of a cruise ship. Just me being here by myself and just walking around the ship, especially when I was in the casino, I actually just still feel like I'm working. It doesn't feel like I'm on vacation right now. But obviously that's just me because I've worked for this company for such a long time. Okay, before I go, I might as well just give you a quick room tour. So this is what an interior stateroom looks like on Wonder of the Seas. Bed, wardrobe, couch. It's still nice you get a couch in an interior stateroom. I'm not sure if it's like that on every royal ship. Uh, flat screen TV on the wall, the mirrors. Yeah, like I said, it has everything you could need. Just no balcony and... Let's have a little look at the bathroom. Oh, and I wanted to go into the music hall, but it was closed for some reason today. I hope it's not going to be closed for the uh, for the whole duration of this cruise, because I would like to film in there. Uh, look out for that then in my upcoming uh, tour videos when I do the individual neighborhoods. But yes, interior stateroom on Royal Caribbean on Wonder of the Seas, very very nice. Anyway, I'm waffling on now, so in the meantime, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do me this favor and smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you are brand new. That is the best way to keep up with all of my cruise ship vlogs, and I will see you in the next video. I've been Chris Wong. See you later. You cannot beat this feeling right here. Embarkation day, sail away party, Steel drums, Caribbean music, everyone's chilling by the pool, having a good time, drinks are flowing, families are having fun. It's just an amazing cruise ship to visually look at. Sunset happening as we speak. Ah, cruising is just, I don't know, it, it really is just something else. 